Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LWC Super Champ. So, this is our main event of the evening, fight number six. We still have one more after this, but this one's very special because it's going to be fought over five three minute rounds of Muay Thai action. It's at 145 pounds and it's Thailand versus Morocco. In the blue corner, we have Musin Ganauri. He is 23 years old, 178 centimeters tall, 33 fights in his record, 22 victories, 10 defeats, and one draw. He's representing Morocco, and he trains out of LKD Muay Thai Gym in Patea. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner, he goes by the name of Shalampet Sitpanom Tong. 29 years of age, 173 centimeters tall, has a total of 81 fights, 59 victories, 20 losses, and two draws. He trains out of Sitpanom Tong, and he is from Surin Province. So Musin has been a regular here on LWC Super Champ. Well, he actually had his first fight you know, on a long stint in Thailand last year on the promotion. Last year when it turned into LWC Super Champ, he was in a tournament. Hit 16 fights last year in Thailand. So a lot of experience for him. Pretty much half the experience that he has right now. Really aggressive Moroccan fighter likes to come forward. Chalampet on the other hand, very well experienced from the Sit Phnom Thong gym. Looking forward to seeing him in action tonight as well. But make sure, you, like I said, that well, this is our main event, but don't go anywhere because we do have Ombak Sitsarawatsa versus Banchai Gratiam Wittia School in our main event, uh, no, well, in our last fight tonight for the 147 pound Global House eight man tournament final. And also, what these two fighters are performing right now is the Y Crew. So the Y Crew is a way of paying respect to everybody that's got you to this point. It's a way of you paying respect to your teacher, to your coach, to everybody that's got you to this part where you're gonna get into the ring and fight for your gym. So it's a ritual performed by every fighter before the fight starts. Why is Basically a greeting in Thai where you place your hands together as a prayer and a greeting for respect too. Crew means teacher in Thai or coach. There's many variations of the Y crew. Each, each gym has their own unique variation of it and fighter as well. While performing this ritual, the headband known as the Monkon, which is about to be removed from the head trainer or the headman or the head, the boss of the gym that the fighter represents and it symbolizes their connection, the fighter's connection between their trainer and the gym. It's almost like a rite of passage, really, wearing the Mong Kong for your gym. It shows that you're ready, you're ready to go into battle, you're ready to perform the art of Muay Thai, and it really holds a great lineage. It's good to see that some promotions like LWC Super Champs still have that ingrained in each fight. Yeah, absolutely correct, Ali. And let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, I will remind everyone, week in and week out, this is a five-rounder. So it'd be wise to conserve some energy in the earlier rounds. Now, I'm not saying fighters do conserve their energy in the earlier rounds usually, but it'd be wise to do so. I mean, it's almost harder for Musin to fight a five-rounder than it would be for Chalampet, who's probably been fighting five rounds, most certainly been fighting five-round fights since he started Muay Thai at a young age. The Moosing, though, he's been fighting a lot of fast-paced three-round fights. So let's see how he adjusts this. And also, this is an Orthodox versus Southpaw. So who has the better footwork of the two? Yeah, I expect a lot of kicks from this one, as we've seen from Shalam Tong, or Shalam Pet, excuse me, early on. Shalam Pet, for those that don't know, translates to Diamond Shark. I was literally just about to say the same thing. Yeah, that's what you get when you start working with each other for a bit too long, Ali. Yep. <laughs> Kevin's definitely taught me a few things. <laughs> and so has Ali, ladies and gentlemen. Tip for tap between these two. Like Kevin said, you don't want to give away too much in the first round. You do want to check your opponent out. But Chalampe really scoring the more significant shots of the two. Don't forget, every round at LWC Super Champ is scored. So they do have to win round one. It's not like in the stadiums where it's scored a 10-10 in the first couple of rounds. Yeah, that's right. These rules, they do come from the Sports Authority of Thailand. It's not made from the PD Stadium itself. So it is a national-wide recognized rule set. 
And as we said, I mean, we did say that they were going to conserve some energy in the earlier rounds, and they're doing that right now. Chalam Tong, Chalam Pet. I need to get. I need to stop getting mixed up between the two. It's not Golden Shark. It's Diamond Shark. That's correct. He does seem to be having the advantage with these kicks to the body. And yeah, Moose firing back his own body kicks, but not having the same success as Chalam Pet. Right hand down the middle from Moussin, trying to go up high, but losing his balance, slipping on the canvas. Yeah, kicking air there. Not what you want to do in a Muay Thai match. Not going to look, not going to look good for the judges. Good evasion of the kick there from Gnawi. Gnawi, of course, is the second Moroccan we've seen here tonight. His fellow countryman, Mohamed Taufik, just Fighting the previous bout, not getting the victory against Nong Benz. And Kanauri doing a good job of mixing it up, but already being beaten to the kick by Chalampe at the moment. Yeah, and it goes back to that point where Thais have been just training so many kicks per day, the same kick over and over and over again. And you can see it's becoming it's, a, it's coming to good use. And that is the end of the first round. Interesting first round. More like a feel out process, I would say, Ali. Just back and forth kicking, trading blows, but uh, not at first gear just yet. Or not at top gear just yet, I should say. No, definitely not. But I mean, I, I am edging towards Chalampet, but I do like how Musim or Kanawi did mix it up a lot in the first round. We saw a variety of shots from him going to the body with his body shots and also countering it back with body kicks. And Grisada Pomtu gets the action underway for our second round of our main event. So you can now we're pushing forward, but gets countered with the left hand from Chalampet. Chalampet again using that left hook to effect. Good push kick to the legs there. A one, two, two, one, twos in a row from Gnawi. Gnawi's just not blocking the body kicks. Really needs to block the body kicks. Great feint there from Gnawi, but really needs to block the body kicks from Chalampe. An edge to his left more to stop Chalampe using that left body kick. Yeah, I mean, the body kicks can really knock the wind out of anyone's body. So if you don't block them, you're going to pay the price for it later on as the match continues. But not just that, it's easy points for Chalampe, isn't it, Kevin? Because he can throw that kick at will now and know that Ganawi's not going to block it. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. He's got to find a way to deal with that situation because it is not working for him at the moment, just taking all these kicks. There's three ways that you can block body kicks in Muay Thai. You can use your shin block, you can lean out of the way and evade them, or you can catch them and then try and counter or sweep. And now he's not doing any of those. He really needs to. Oh, but he has connected with a good shot against Chalampet. Chalampet for a moment looks like he's on stumbly legs. And now he's struggling to get a hold of him to try and take advantage of that rock, oh. that wobble there. But it looks like Chalampet's just composed himself again. Yeah, but let's not take anything away from Gnawi that ball, but he did wobble Chalampet, and now that's going to grow in confidence for Gnawi. That was a peach of an uppercut from Gnawi. And he knows he can hurt his opponent now. Good left hand there by Chalampet. 
Really almost off balance, Gadawi. Coming back with some shots of his own. It does connect. And Chalab Pen may be going down now, but manages to get back with a knee to the midsection. Going to the knee once again. Well, it's that uppercut, Kevin, that you... It's such an underutilized shot in Muay Thai. You don't see a lot of it. And there it is again! The uppercut, the right uppercut. And it's gonna... Almost thought there was a count there. Yeah, but it was. It looked like Gustav Pumzo was gonna count for just a moment, but decided not to. And now he's confident, must be through the roof at the moment. Good body shot there. Body kick by Gnawi, but a return elbow by Shalampet. Gnawi getting played with the right hand or left hand, excuse me. And now he just got to use that uppercut, try and find a home for it one more time. Set out with the jab. Great body kick there from Shalampet. Gnawi coming back one of his own. Oh my goodness, just back and forth. And now it seems like he's on wobbly legs once again. Shalampet and he. He goes down, Chalam Pet is, is down, and this time he does receive an eight count. Oh my goodness, Gnawi really worked hard for that one, Ali. Yeah, he really did. Let's see if he can finish it. Oh, it's saved by the bell. That's the end of round two. We'll see you in round three. What a round. It was a big round for Mohamed Taufik from, excuse me, Musin Ganawi from Morocco, managing to score that knockdown. I mean, what an uppercut that was, Ali. Yeah, like I said, it's one of the most underutilized punches in Muay Thai, and Ganawi found a great home for it that started his onslaught on Chalam, Chalam Pet, almost called him Chalam Suk then, and just took advantage of it. I was so concerned that Kanawi was going to punch himself out, but it was that combination right there that scored in the eight count, and Jalampet just got saved by the bell at the end of the round. Let's see if Kanawi can take advantage of it more. Jalampet really has to stay on the back foot and land his body kicks and not get on the inside against Kanawi. Here we go, round three. Jalampet knocked down in the second round. He's got a big mountain to climb. Good low kick, a good body kick there from Shalampet. Trying to land with that knee now, Shalampet. Yeah, we're seeing all second round that Kanawi, he needed to do a much better job of protecting his body from those kicks, but I think it's fair to say that Shalampet needs to do the exact same thing and protect his head as well. Because he's taking some big shots, that uppercut once again finding its way home. And Shalampet is just standing there and taking these punches, which he really shouldn't do. He needs to try and shut up or at least get Kanawi in the clinch, but Kanawi not letting him. Yeah, I don't understand what Shalampet's game plan is at the moment, because he's taking way too many shots from Kanawi. Good teeps there from Shalampet. A good kick to the body, but they punches to the body equally as hard, if not more so. And now Shalampet going onto the inside. Doesn't stay there for too long. Talfik managing to get... Oh, Gnawi, excuse me, managed to get out of the way. <laughs> Need to stop getting mixed up by Moroccans. Chopping knee there from Gnawi and... Trying to push Chalampet back, but still... That was all a good block there from Gnawi. Needs to see a lot more of it, though. Yeah, pretty breathing. Heavy breathing now from the Moroccan. He doesn't want to lose the grip that he has on this fight right now. He's got such a huge advantage, Kevin, with that eight count in round two, so early on as well. And now taking some big shots from Shalampet. Good uppercut again from the Ganawi, but he receives a knee to the midsection. Some more good hands from Ganawi, but receives a kick again to the midsection. And a good team from Shalampet. 
Oh, these shots to the body, they really are adding up. Yeah, looks like that hurt Gennaro, you see his guard drops him, jumping on his feet too. Wincing there, these body, these body kicks are really hurting Ganawi. He did say in the second round, Ali, he does have to block those kicks to the body. He really does, and now they're adding up. Great punches there from Ganawi. That left hook connected so well. Ganawi on the front foot, using the right hand. Chalampet just apprehensive there to engage. Almost like missed his shot, but landed with the left body kick. Oh, again, the right hand landing for Ganawi. Looked like it stunned Chalampet just for a moment, but does he have the power, does he have the energy to follow up with that? Oh, I'm exhausted just watching these two. Can't imagine how they feel. They are feeling at the moment. Another kick to the body landing for Chalampet. Ganawi, right body kick. He's got Chalampet on the ropes, and that's going to do it for round three. We'll see you in round four. That was a good round for Shalampet. Remember, he was knocked down in the second round, but in the third round, seems to have hurt Ganawi with the kicks to the body. Hopefully, we're going to see that in the replay. Ganawi, though, still had some big hands landing on Shalampet. But the body shots really did seem to take its toll on Ganawi. Yeah, especially that, like you said, that left body kick. It's left body kick versus power puncher at the moment, Kevin. Yeah, it really is. Just wondering how much few of these fighters have left in the tank because, you know, we've seen a lot of high-paced three-rounders tonight. And both of these two, I mean, they must be exhausted. But still, two more rounds to go. But this is where you expect to see the ex a lot of experience now from Chalampe, especially in the later rounds. Great block there from Ganawi. Finally starting to block these body kicks. Yeah, and it's about time as well. I guess better late than never. Good combinations put together by Ganawi. Good great. right hand. Oh yeah, I was about to say, great right hand there from Ganawi. Block there from Ganawi, but Chalampet scoring with a body kick to the arm of Ganawi, knocking him back. Yeah, it's a good idea for Chalampet to attack the arms. Maybe to take some of that power away from Gunawi. Usually another tactic that is good to take away the power of a big power puncher is kicking the lead leg. That's what I noticed. Once the lead leg has been attacked, the power from the punches just aren't, aren't as hard. It's always harder to throw to throw the low kick when you're in the opposite stance because you run the risk of scoring a foul or at least like kicking the groin. Obviously that's not a foul too much in five round Muay Thai, unfortunately, but it's something you don't really want to do to your opponent for their sportsmanship. No, it's just not honorable. And if you win a fight that way, promoters will be looking at that and thinking to themselves that maybe this guy's not for us. So there's also that aspect to keep into consideration. Good combination there, attempt by Ganawi. But then again, he's not blocking the kicks to the body. The right hand connects for Gnawi, but that left kick connecting once again for Shalampet. Shalampet really having a field day with that left kick to the body. Yeah, Shalampet being patient, controlling the ring very well. See that lateral movement moving to the center of the ring. 
Landing a body kick straight back off the Ganawi connects with his. Really wish we had someone doing stats here so I know how Chalam Pet's kick success rate is. I think it's very high. I mean, Ganawi's only really been able to block a handful of them, and losing a balance like that isn't a good score either. No, it's not. Just been impressed so far by the accuracy of Shalab Pet's kicks. And he's making space for it, using side steps and making Ganawi chase him. And Ganawi's pretty much walking into the game plan of Chalam Pet. Yeah, he is each time. We're not seeing those hard punches anymore from Ganawi. Miss of a punch there from Ganawi. A good block of the kick. Something we haven't seen so often. Yeah, and a good kick to the body by Shalampet. Much better footwork now from Shalampet in this fourth round. And that is the end of the fourth round. We'll see you in the fifth. Okay, here we go. We're heading into the fifth and final round. Ganawi, has he got any more in the tank to take Chalampet down, to knock Chalampet down one more time? Chalampet going to coast to victory with this left body kick that's been so precise. It's been the cornerstone to his offense. He's landed it at will at crucial moments in the fight too. Yeah, just wondering how everyone has scored it at home. Remember, this is at LWC Super Channel. We are using Sports Authority of Thailand rules meaning that every single round is scored. It's not scored as a whole. And now we're coming into our fifth and final round. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, fights here can also be scored as a draw. Okay, fifth and final round here. Don't go anywhere though. This may be our main event, but we do have one more fight after this. And a kicking things off in the fifth round, literally from Shalam Pit, going back to where he left off. And why not? Because he knows he has that success rate already. He knows time and time again when he throws is that left kick to the body, he does connect. A good block there from Ganawi. Ganawi, though, really wants to step to his left more so that he can land his right punch or right body kick. Get away from that left body kick landing flush from Chalampet. Doing a good job there, cutting him off. So now he has Chalampet just stepped laterally to his right. You see again, great left body kick there from Ganawi. Yeah, the young Moroccan, he definitely knows the rhythm of Muay Thai. A lot of times when you see non-Thai fighters competing in Muay Thai, you think you often think they have this kickboxing background, but no, I mean Ganawi, he is very much a Muay Thai fighter. Ganawi's shown his Experience. No, they definitely can't dance around. They've got to engage. I don't know why the I don't know why the corner team's telling him to stop fighting. You have to fight. Yeah, I mean fans at home, they don't want to see a dance off, they want to see a fight. Some more kicks landing for Chalampet. Yeah, if anything, Kanawi's best round was round two. And in my opinion, on my unofficial scorecard, Chalampet nicked. The other rounds. So if anything, Chalampa is narrowly winning this. Ganawi needs to have a really decisive, a really dominant round five just to make sure that he gets that win. Yeah, now we're seeing them fight. I'm glad that the dance off ended. If the fans at home wanted to see a dance, we would start uh, So You Think You Could Dance Thailand instead of a Muay Thai promotion. Right. Yeah, once again, the corner of Ganawi telling him not to engage. 
Maybe that's not the best idea. Definitely not. I mean, we, we tell the fighters in the in the in the the rules meeting before the show starts, do not dance around. And here we go, Krixida Ponte telling them off too, telling them, you have to fight. This is not the stadiums. That is absolutely correct. This is a five round Muay Thai fight. You need to go the whole five rounds. Overall, it's going to be interesting to see how the judges score this one. Chalam Pet was knocked down in the second round. However, his kick success rate is just impeccable, just like that, landing time and time again. It's like a baseball bat connecting to the body. Yeah, very, very vicious weapon there for Chalam Pet. And I really think this dancing for Ganawi is going to go against him, and this is going to cost him the fight. Needed to have a very dominant round five, in my opinion. Well, we'll find out very shortly who has won our main event this evening. Is it going to be Chalampet from Thailand or Musin Ganawi from Morocco? Get the replays coming to you right now. So, bit of a relaxed round because both fighters well, it was initiated by Ganawi dancing at the end of the fight. So, it's, that's for people that don't know, that's done in Thailand so that because you, you think that you've won and you don't want to give the, the win away. But we'll see. I mean, it's, there's that baseball bat of a body kick that Kevin mentioned from Chalampet. So a very relaxed round between these two. I think if you're just going to score it on that round alone, Chalampet won that round. OK, we'll get the official decision. We'll see you in our final fight, which is coming up after this. And the winner is Summer Abom Strong! Blue corner and the red corner, Summer and Pine and Nay, and a and now, I will show you the คุณทํารงชิวชาวนาผู้จัดการฝ่ายขายกรุงเทพและต่างจังหวัดมอบรางวัลเลยนะครับเอาละครับมอบเงินรางวัลให้กับนักชกจากมุมแดงและปุ่